welcome back people welcome back yes we're back in the garage it's been a while so let's uh, see what we're going to get up to today we're fiddling around with the bike trying to do some repairs still doing repairs and let's flip over to the bench to see what we're going to do so on today's agenda is to replace the knackered one that's all scratched up with a replacement one massive shout out to olivier from switzerland who posted these these are his spare ones he just sent them to me saying he doesn't use these at all so shout out to him cheers and i just found a top clamp it was about 180 pound from 190 pound from a dealer got this for 30 quid let's get that replaced because i'm not too happy with the current one that's on there so the first easy thing to do is just remove all these top four lift it off lift the bar out of the way get the other two bolts out underneath and then just replace it with the one that, that i've got and then see if it all lines up straight i don't know if you can see see there's a little gap there this is the knackered one if i put it on here look all four corners are flat on the bench whereas over here this top corner is slightly lifted so you can tell there was a slight twist in it which is why i'm changing it and i'm just going to take them two out and replace them just to make sure that that's all straight as well this one on the left is like full of water right this is uh this is back on i didn't mess about with changing those because i haven't got the tool to get underneath to lock it to remove it but i just replaced the top and uh lined up the markers uh it looks mm, well it wasn't that far off before anyway but i mean it, it looks proper straight now and the steering damper looks proper straight and parallel so yeah happy with that right so onto the mirror which takes the protector off the end the wire runs all the way down into there so i'll probably have to take this cover off and i'll probably just do a, a little chit chat and run through the news and what's going on about all the hyper news and ducati news while i piss around with this so the cover comes off two little screws at the top and then i guess all i need to do is run that wire it goes through that hole and then in here somewhere is the plug and just replace it so let's do that okay so that long wire was folded up in here and then it was literally comes into the top of this and it's just clipped in that underneath so all I've got to do is take this take this off and then put the new one on and replace it. And there you have it, guys. That's how fucking knackered it was. Just literally dangling off and broken on that side. This is quite easy to do. Well, the only thing is I've got the P this is all PPF protected, so that isn't. So I might have to get that done afterwards and speak to Tony James. But let's get that on. So look, the new one's on. Put the end duke bike protection back on, fed the wire, clipped it back on. I've plugged it in. I haven't tied it up yet, but I thought I'd give it a quick test. Oh, bright light let's just see if the indicator comes on yay right at least you know we sorted so put it back together nice and easy now let's have a chit chat about the news so obviously everyone is gearing up at the moment all the people are gearing up for eitma which is the almost like the world of motor show but for motorbikes uh held in milan and obviously as you would have noticed the eager people amongst you who have subscribed to ducati and stuff would have noticed that they're single super quadro mono engine the 659 cc most powerful single cylinder engine is what they are determining it as what are they saying 77 horsepower and then 85 ish with a race exhaust or race system pretty much half a, a chopped up 1299 panigale engine as a single and everyone knows that this is going in the hyper and the hyper the new 659 or 698 whatever they want to call it hyper will be at eichmer so that is it, quick little fix done. Your bars all seem lined up, all the markings all seem lined up. So at least that, you know, the steering damper looks proper straight now. So yeah, that's part of the fixes continued. I'm not, I'm gonna leave these, no point. And I'm gonna leave that, no point fixing that because that might be needed again. Belly pan is working and I think I'm gonna need a new rear tire soon. So I might go for these again, or I might go for something else. Let us know, any chunky tire recommendations, drop a note in the comments. And uh, yeah, so thanks very much and thanks for watching. Catch you later.